Can you hear me? No. Emma, on a lift here. Can you guys hear me? Emma, can you say something? No, you not scared. Ah, scared. Yeah, yeah, I can. Sheila, 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 can you say something? Uh, 
um um shayla go to your if you're using a phone or a computer go and click your my mic because i can't see it here naona kabisa mic yako haipo We are left alone. Where are the others? Now.
I can't hear you. Sheila, click the mic on your phone. There's, there's an icon your mic. If you click here, then you can hear us. We can at least hear you. There's a video and a mic down. When you click your phone, kwenye video, upper chin, kuna, kuna ki mic kiko hapa na ki video. Then click your mic, urusu, kiongea kukustia. Sheila, can you hear me? Some noise from my side. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, noise. I can hear some noise like there are people in the background. Please, you, please. I can hear. I think Shayla had your click. Touch the screen, then um, you take. Shayla, can you hear me? Bado. Yes, on, on Shayla, on your screen, touch the screen, then you will see a mic, click a mic, on your phone, if you're using your phone. Hello? Take off, unmute, unmute yourself. Click. Hello? Click the mic. Can I can hear you now. Yes. Oh, dear Lord. Technology is taking us somewhere else to this. Online. Yeah, that's why we have a tech person anyway. Oh, Jesus. Daribu. So I think we should start. Emma.
Yes. Emma Karibu. So um, I think Where yeah, Rehema, can you speak clearly, please? You can't hear me. You're not using the headphones. Can you okay. hear me, please? Yeah. Now that's clear, yeah. Yeah, so we, I think we have to start because we don't have much time and we can't keep on waiting for more people. I've given a room, so whoever will be joining in, they'll join along. Um, I'll introduce myself. My name is Johema Dominikanga and uh, I'm the founder of Panda Initiative and a director for Startup Kuenda Dodoma. And um, Startup Kuenda is the world's largest startup community in the world that um, connects, educates, inspire about 350 million um, entrepreneurs over 600 chapters across 125 countries in the world. So Emma, that's just a small about what is happening here. And um, we are happy to host you. And every year, uh, Sata Brenda hosts um, a Stu Women Leaders Month, which is May. And uh, proudly recognize the accomplishment of successful female leaders all over the world. So this year, um, Sata Brenda Women Month is proudly sponsored by Google and Silicon Valley Bank, and I would like to introduce um, Sheila. I think she introduced herself. Actually, the material is just to become a post after the rest. Sheila. Yeah, um, uh, good morning, Rehema. Good, sorry, good afternoon, Rehema. Good afternoon, Ima. Sorry for the technology issues that we're having. Some of these things are still new to us. So thank God we're starting with someone who's into technology. So I think with time it will get better, yeah? Okay, well, I am, what? My name is Shayla. I am Rehema's chapter director assistant. Is that what they call it? Yes. It's a code. Sorry. Well, no. Co-director, yes. Um, yeah, I think, uh, let me let Rehema take it on from here and let me get my pen and paper and get ready to learn a few things from Ima. Thank you. So Ima is, um, I'm going to give a small bio. So Emma, she's a telecommunication engineer from Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology. Uh, she's the founder of Voyage and our dean of Voyage 2020. Um, Emma, welcome, and please tell us more about yourself, a small intro about yourself and what you do, and then we can give you more questions. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Uh, well, this is Emma, founder of Women in Electronics in Tanzania which was founded in 2016. Um, what envisions at empowering, inspiring, and motivating young girls in STEM fields, by STEM you understand, right? Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, since it was founded, we did several projects in empowering and inspiring, such as essay writing competitions, e-clinic projects, the voice, and so forth. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, thank you so much, Emma, for your uh, introduction. Can you hear me? Hello? Rehema, I think you should keep... Yeah, Rehema, I think you should keep your microphone uh, next. That's when we can hear you. It's easier for us. Okay, so it will have to be here on my mouth. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Yeah, so Emma, we are just starting Startup Grenda Dodoma, and thank you so much for accepting our invitation. 
we'll have a few questions oh, and folks. maybe you'll walk us through how you got into passion for technology. How you got a passion for technology? Like, how did you end up in tech? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I was passionate about launching this organization due to the challenge that I encountered when I was still in college. And the challenge is that I got as a woman that we cannot pursue engineering or IT stuff and the fact that were demotivated by the lecturers and the people around our community. Okay, um, um, Sheila, if you have questions, we'll give a room on Q and A. And what are you most passionate when it comes to? What are you most passionate when it comes to technology? Which part? Because when you speak of tech, it's something that is huge, a big technology. Sorry, I'm saying technology Sorry? is quite. Technology is quite huge. And what are you most passionate when it comes to technology? Which part of the tech? Because it's something that is really big. It cannot be in all, like, all, like everything. So what part of it are you really passionate about? In the very beginning, it was electronics because it's something that everybody could do. The moms who did not go to school, the younger girls. But now I've mostly concentrated on innovation. Um, Innovation and education, teaching the kids how to put into practice the science subject, how to put into practice the science subject and make it real. For example, we have some people who have not gone to school, but they are doing really good, like Jackie Umeme. Have you ever heard of Jackie Umeme? No, no, tell me about it. Well, Yekumeme is the car mechanical. Is it mechanical or technician? She never went to school, but she was spending most of her time with these mechanics at the garage. Mm -hmm. So she was trying to learn some stuff about the cars and um, she spent her 12 years learning practically, and now she has become the best in the industry. Oh, of, wow. Yeah. Oh. So, Emma, tell us, how, how easy was it or difficult for you to start your own organization? Was it your own self? Did you have someone to support you? Did you have partners? How was it and how is it going? Because I know all startups, like starting an organization, starting up a business, it's not only having the right partner, having enough capital. Tell us about it. Walk us your story. How was it? Like, I really want to hear stories, like real life stories from your side. It wasn't easy. I did not have any partner, but I had several, several in and outs. Um, I would go and explain about my vision and dreams about the organization. Some would want to step in, but after some time, they leave. Um, I had a lot of challenges from the government to the people I approached. I, didn't, I, I just used my personal funds. I did not get any external funds to start and launch the organization. Okay, despite the challenges that you had, what kept you going? What, what kept you going? Like you really wanted to keep on starting your own organization to help the young girls and, 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 and boys, mostly girls, I would say so. What kept you going? 
well, I get a lot of support from friends and family, mostly. Okay. And, yeah. Um, we have startups, like most of them would be like, we, we, you know, when you want to start something, people don't really get to understand it. Huh? So for a person who doesn't have support from family, maybe it's from friends, what would you advise for them? keep on pushing to make sure that their dreams in whatever they are working on it could be tech, it could be entrepreneurship, it could be culture, it could be anything. Um, what could be that most thing that is someone away? Sorry, come again. Saying um, most of the startups or youth they will say they don't have much support from family. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you have support from family and friends who were there for you. What of those who don't have, what advice would you give? Um, for the people who don't, do not have funds to start Fund, something. Support, because that's what you mean. When you say funds and support, it all comes along with the funds and moral support. Ideally, how to put up your idea or your business in one place. Like most people don't get that very close. What would you advise them? Should they keep on working on the ideas? Should they, what should they do? Well, as for me, I think it's good to invest in people because through it's through them they make you they make you um what can i say they make you in practical and they give you connection network they take you to where your dreams are okay so tell us about your project a little bit the um... Uh, one you just did and most youth were writing their project and that led you to become the award winner of the year. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, um, um, I've been running several projects, but the very most project that made me go to an award was The Voice. Um, the Voice project is about recognizing, acknowledging, and honoring the women legends who have been in the same industry, but they're never recognized by the government or the people in Tanzania, and they're not known. So um, what I was actually doing, we were doing some interviews, and they were showing us the works that they did. Mostly we did with uh, the people who were the first, the first to uh, what? Uh, wow, how you can say the first, in English. Tell us. The, first, <laughs> the first nurse, the first technologist, the first engineers, those who were never recognized because in most cases we find men being recognized, being at the top. So I was doing that. Um, I did that in the year 2019, from July to September. Yep. Yep. So I did with the first nurse, who was Professor Pauline Mella. She received a lot of awards all over the world, but she was never recognized in Tanzania. And she's the one who, 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 who launched uh, the degree in nursing in Tanzania. And she's the only professor in Tanzania up to now. Wow. Uh, and through her, she we, we got uh, more than thousand nurses in Tanzania. She was the only one, but through her, we got more than thousand nurses. And I managed to make her being recognized by big medias like clouds few days back, few months back, she received an award of Malkia Wangubu. Yeah. So the project is continuing still, and we are yet to launch 
uh, and have what the thing programs, programs. TV programs. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I need an English program. Okay, Emma, I understand you're a mother of four right now. If I would say, tell me, how do you manage with the technology as young as you are? Yeah, me and Julie got married early. That's another topic for another day. So tell me, how do you manage in your day life with kids, family, and working in this tech industry? Tell me about it. Like, tell the startups, tell the audience, whoever is here and here, how do you really manage everything? Your daily I know it's tough, but tell us a bit your day life. How do you manage? I have a very short statement for your question. <laughs> I do everything at a time. If it's time for babysitting, I do that. If it's time for work, I concentrate on work. That's it. It's time to be with husband, then it's husband. If it's day out. Okay. Um Most women and girls tend to shy away from science-related subjects. How or what can we do as a community to increase the particip participation of uh, women and girls in the STEM industry to bring gender neutrality? I think you've done this. Can you tell us how did you how do you make sure girls like STEM and all those kind of things? I think there are a lot of challenges. Uh, first of all is cultural based and stigma issues. Most of girls and women do not have confidence on that. Um, we think same or in engineering things, technology, the my they're what? Men's same stuff. Um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what we actually do, actually, uh, before, before, before saying uh, what we do, when we ran the competition, the essay writing competition, it was like a pilot study. We wanted to know the challenges from different regions, Dar es Salaam, uh, all over Tanzania. So uh, challenges were not the same. Students from Dar es Salaam did not have the same challenges as students from Singida or Mbea, and some of them were like uh, they couldn't they couldn't pursue science due to religious issues. Like for Muslims, they're not allowed to. On uh, the for Muslim, they believe that God is creator of everything. They cannot be above God. And women, they are not allowed to be above men. And science is for men. Wow. So those are some answers which I got from the students. And some other girls from the village, they were complaining about the staff. They did not have teachers, science teachers. They did not have role models. This is why we, 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 we concentrated more on the voice to reveal the role models for the girls because they were pursuing science without seeing they are just reading about Marie Curie from America. They did not see anybody from Tanzania. So we had to run the voice in order to reveal and show them that we do have these people who went, who went to school, to, who went to village school like you guys and they made it. So, yeah. So currently we are trying to motivate them to empower them to to show them that there are people like you who made it and they are they have got big titles yeah how, how many girls were you able to reach on your essay uh, competition or can you tell us that is a roughly number i think 177 wow so, oh. from six regions mm. I was done speaking, not all of us are done. Okay. Um, what would you recommend or advise anyone who wants to join the STEM industry? 
science technology because right now it's innovation everything we do is tech what would you advise anyone any startup person who wants to join the industry what would you well do? well the future is bright they can see our uh, madam president madam samia she has a very nice story she did not make it during our o level studies but now she's a president so you can start from zero and make it up to 100 and it is possible to take that thing um Okay, Emma, mm, tell us your success secrets and how many people are you working on your organization? How many are you so far? Like, are you five, six, eight, eight? How many people are you working with? And for anyone to make it, like, we're still learning every day. And, and when you say making it, I don't know how people take it when you say you're successful. Can you tell me how do you define success? I've asked you about three person in one. But at least tell me how many are you in your organization? Um, how do you define success when someone says to your success? In, in your own way, how do you define success in your organization? How do I find the status of my organization? Pardon? Right? How do I find status of my organization? How do you define success? How do I define success? success All yeah. right. When I stand and say I am successful, in what, how do you define yourself as up to where you are? Right? Well, first you asked about the number of staff. Yes. Well, we're about three to nine people, but three potential. And and the other six are the volunteers. Oh. Volunteers are on and because some of them are students and some of them are employed to some other places. So they chip in if there is any project. But so far, we have three potential people. Then how do I define success? Yeah. Well, the projects that I did, first, the inspiration competition and award-giving ceremony, which took place in December 2019. Uh, we did in Dar es Salaam, Bea, Singida, Kwani, um, and Musoma. And then uh, the voice project, which we did with the first female engineer in Tanzania, engineer Margaret. And then we did with the first air controller, um, Madam. Oh, I don't remember her name. The name evaporated. <laughs> the first female air controller, who is currently the director of TCAA. Uh, yeah, Madam Wanakombo. Wanakombo. Then uh, we did uh, the we did with the Kumeme. The technology still never went to school, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we did. Uh, the first female nurse, Professor Pauline Mella, mm -hmm. and we did with uh, about 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Mm -hmm. my, my, yeah, we did with uh, the first general secretary of the airport in Africa, airports in Africa. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name. She's engineer Margaret also. But I forgot the name of the company she's working with, but she's the first general secretary of 
the aviation industries in Africa. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we did with uh, other other uh, ladies in Career Core, who are the technologies, mobile technologies, um, digital uh, software designers. Yeah. Also, those people never went to school, but they do technology. Honest. Also, we held press conference to inspire women participation in election to push policy, oh. which, we, which took place last year, 2020. Um, thank you, Emma. Thank you so much. Um, Shayla, any questions? Do you have any questions for Emma? No. Q and A, so we can we can we can network and wind up. Yeah. Um, I don't have any questions for Emma. Her story has been inciting. However, uh, maybe she should share her contacts with anyone who would like to get in touch or anyone who'd have any questions in regards to tech because there is someone that had reached out to me earlier and asked about tech but i was like let them come online so i don't know if they've watched it or they are on but just for her to share her contacts would be great for anyone that would have any other questions otherwise for me i'm i'm good thank you really no questions Emma, Emma, tell us something that no one knows about you, like really nobody knows about you. I'm optimistic and very patient. You are patient. Oh. That's, that's good. Of course, it takes, it takes a lot of patience. I won't finish what takes a lot of patience. <laughs> but so to, to see how you started up to where you are. And you you graduated in 20, 2016. And you started the organization on... You graduated 2016, is it? Oh, I graduated. Okay. Sorry? When did Come you, again because when did you graduate? You, when did you graduate? You had to twenty is happy. Uh -huh. twenty sixteen. When did you Joseph. start when did you start your organization? When did I start? Mm -hmm. I thought when did I graduate? I started oh, graduated. as well. It's like this. You you graduated on twenty sixteen. That's fine. When did you start your organization? Yeah. What? In 2016. The 2016. same year? Oh, oh, okay. Yes. So you couldn't really wait. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Emma. So Startup Grinder is on and we'll be hosting um, different um, startups, entrepreneurs, um, different people in the industry we, we we are on tech but we, we do like we actually inspire connect educate and the main purpose of startup brenda is to connect people and to help and to give and not to take and having friends not just friends but people who can actually help you grow in your career in your business who can connect with others um thank you so much for accepting our um, our request and becoming a panelist for today. Um, we've learned a lot from your story and I'm sure it has, it, it, it has inspired most of the people and whoever is going to listen to the video, because you are recording the, the whole um, conversations and it will be shared on YouTube, start up on YouTube. It's going to go to more than, like I said, more than 600 chapters 
224 million um, startups who are connected on, on Startup Friend that will be able to view and see what we'll be able to ask you today. They will connect, people will look for you probably out of this uh, conversation between us. And um, so we're looking forward to connect more. And if you know other women, uh, men who are on startups, they have their own organization running up, starting or they're already successful. When, when I say success, everyone defines their own um, success way. It's for me to accomplish probably empowering people in my community even achieving their own daily basis probably that could be my success so maybe female organization go and have a hundred people working for me empower ten thousand girls that could be my success so we still need more people on board and kindly share with your friends with your colleagues with your family and tell them to join our community it's a very good platform to be because it has, more, like I said, we have, we're more than 55 million. You can see how much, how big that message is. So you will know who will look for you from here on. So thank you so much for joining our meeting. And would really love to see you next time, either as a speaker or as a person who will join in to listen to others. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And yeah, thank you, Sheila. Um, I don't have much to say. I think, Rema, you said everything, but um, I think um, technology is a wide topic, yeah? And uh, these other subtopics that I think would be nice if we included Emma to speak about them. So I'm thinking, I hope we look forward to having her again as a speaker on several other topics that will bring to her knowledge and see if she's interested in sharing her insights. Otherwise, this has been good and I look forward to um, working and having another talk with Emma again. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Startup Brenda Dodoma, oh yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Emma, for your time. Thank you. I shared my contacts on the chat, Sheila. Yeah. Thank you. You can you can also you can also say Emma like your email. You can you can mention your email. Whoever would want to touch. Oh yeah. All right. Emma at gmail.com. Women are going to come up with another comment. Nice. Shall I you have it? Huh? Yes, I've 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 sent them yes. Oh, okay. So Emma, thank you. Hope to see you next month. So we'll be hosting events every month. We will have these fireside chats and we will have um, parties like maybe two or one every year, once or twice a year. And we have summits, but the summit you have to go to Silicon Valley. So with COVID, um, this year it was online. Probably next year we, it might be one or one to Silicon Valley and. Probably you might get a ticket, sweetheart, to go to Silicon Valley. So let's join our community and keep in touch with us. Thank you so much, Emma, and have a lovely afternoon. Thank you. Sheila, thank you for have your time. Day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.